people buy a coffee and that means I can put dinner on the table tonight. It means I can pay my rent. Hi. 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 How are you? Can I make you coffee? Yes, please. Amazing. For Nancy Silverman, coffee is now how she hopes to survive the pandemic. I just have medium roast today, if that's cool. Yeah, no worries. Her coffee shop is as bare bones as it gets. There's no espresso, no cappuccino. This is the only coffee she serves. Almost there. It's not fancy, it's dire. You know, I didn't get into the coffee business because I wanted to, you know, start the next Starbucks. Thank you. Thanks. Have a good day. See you later. Thanks so much. I got into the coffee business because it was essential to my survival. Before the pandemic, running a coffee business was the furthest thing from Nancy's mind. So how did she get here? Before COVID, I was a full-time yoga instructor. Life was great. I had a great life and everything was exactly where I needed it to be finally after 10 years of teaching. Then, like it has for everyone, COVID changed everything. Nancy went from teaching 25 classes a week to three. Her income dropped to almost nothing. It was just scary. It makes you feel powerless when you have a successful established career and it's suddenly swiped out from under you. So Nancy had to find another way to make money and fast. She used to work in a coffee shop, so she figured she knew something about the business. I was taking a big risk. I mean, I started this business on a credit card. I had no money in the bank. I was, I was really uh, spending money I didn't have with the hopes that it was going to make me some money later. Good girl! <laughs> in just two weeks, Nancy registered her business and built a website. Check out that down dog. The shop is called Two Hot Babes Coffee Company, and it's named after me and my girl Penny. Kisses! Good girl! I really wanted to include Penny in the name of the shop because I wanted to honor her. She is my best buddy. She's been such an incredible source of support throughout the pandemic. But Nancy still had to find a location, a place to open. Do you drink it black or with milk? Uh, with a bit of milk, yeah. Okay, sweet. She reached out to Faye Blaze, owner of the Winona Craft Beer Lodge, a neighborhood bar. Faye's business was down 90% because of COVID. I think the biggest scare is kind of losing everything. We've been on the brink of having to close for the last, you know, six months at least. A little bit of milk? Yes, please. When Faye rented part of her bar to Nancy to make coffee, the idea helped both of them. There you go, let me enjoy it. Thank you so much. From disaster comes opportunity. Um, you know, so it's in these kind of trying times that beautiful things can come from it. And then Antoine, what are you taking your coffee? Just a little milk. The arrangement's working. And we'll take two of your cookies also. Nancy's only been open a little more than a month, but she's already building up regulars. Well, these are the places that make a city feel like home to me. And you might as well put your money back into a place like this than a big box store that's going to have a better chance getting through this situation. What brought you in today? I've run past this place a few times. Oh, yeah? That's so awesome. Thanks for coming in. Perfect. Oh, cheers. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a good day. I find myself clutching my heart often. You know, when people pay for their coffee, I find myself just thanking them profusely. Thank you for coming in. You know, thank you for switching up your routine and taking a chance on a new business. It feels like in a time of extreme darkness and extreme lack, it feels light in a way that like, whew, I feel a little bit emotional. I didn't think I could feel light right now. It's really interesting. It pours completely differently from caffeinated coffee. It's easy to see how COVID has changed people. It's meant the end of some things we took for granted. But the pandemic has brought with it beginnings too. It's like a real community vibe there. Yeah. I get to wake up with a purpose every day. Do you take milk? No. Perfect. It has allowed me not only to survive, but to thrive. I feel 
you know, happy and excited about living for the first time since the initial lockdown in March. See you later. See ya. Nick Purden, CBC News, Toronto.